Hi. So this week I have mostly been faffing about. <laughs> well, I have been faffing about. Here's the story. On Saturday I took delivery of an Arturia Micro Freak. Uh, lovely looking little synth. Uh, I have to admit to being underwhelmed by the synth engine, but I didn't want it for that. What I wanted it for was for the keyboard. Uh, the idea was it was going to be my version of the Buchla Easel uh, keyboard. Um, you know, I know it's nothing like that, but it is a flat key bed. And I thought I could use that keyboard to control my little modular because it's got CV out and gate out and uh, pressure after touch, whatever they call it. Um, the CV and gate work fine, but I just could not get on with the pressure at all. I tried the different envelopes, I tried different voltages, but nothing worked. I just could not get it to be as responsive as I wanted it to be, which was a disappointment because I thought uh, it looked really nice on paper. And as I say, it looked really sweet, fit nicely on the desktop, but no, so um, I sent it back. I did happen to watch uh, that same uh, weekend, a live performance by Suzanne Ciani, and I was surprised to see that Suzanne Ciani was using an iPad, an Animoog app on the iPad for the lead line, which I thought was, well, there she is with um, thousands of dollars worth of Buchla uh, gear. And she's playing the lead line, the top line on an app, you know, gosh. Uh, I was, hmm, there you go. So I was quite taken aback by that, but it did sound really good. And that got me thinking because I've got an iPhone and I do have Animoog on it, but I haven't really used it that much. It was still on my phone. So I opened it up and started to explore it a bit. And um, yeah, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by how good it sounded. And one of the things I like about it is the fact you can slide your finger up and down and play notes really fast. You know, you can sound, you can play as fast as Keith Emerson with none of the skill, which is um, great, you know. And that was one of the things I did like about the Microfreak keyboard. You can wibble around and it has the quantized scales, which the Animoog also has. Well, this got me thinking. Can I add it to my modular setup? You know, if it's Suzanne Ciani's using it, why don't I use it? So I created a little patch and the idea was it was some chords from Platts fed into the Morphogene. And then I'm uh, tweaking the Morphogene with controlled CV from the SQ1 uh, into the Morph and the slide uh, inputs. And I also discovered that I can modulate um, the pitch with myself. Um, I took a lead, plugged a lead into the, the pitch control on the Morphogene, the vary speed on the Morphogene, and just left the cable hanging out. And when I touch it, it, it modulates. Crazy. So I thought that was kind of cool. And um, I had maths creating a sort of drone which went into the inputs of the morphogene. And then I could sort of fade between the maths drone and the Platts chords in the morphogene, like a DJ's turntable. So, so that was the idea to create a, a sound bed which I could tootle over the top of with the Animoog. Take one was not very good. Take two was all right, um, but take three I, I liked. Uh, uh, something about it that appealed to me. And here is where faff number two comes in, because um, for some reason the camera didn't work, which was a drag, uh, because I thought, well, I'll have another go. So I tried another performance, but I didn't like it as much. I really didn't. And from my limited musical experience, I think, you know, once you've got a performance you're happy with, um, that's it. You're never going to get it back. So there I was with a performance I liked, but no film uh, to go with it. But all was not lost. While I was fiddling around on the phone, I did find some footage I'd shot on the phone when I was making a video for a little um, sample library I made um, called Plink 2. 
and that was still on the camera and I thought oh maybe I can use some of that so so this was FAF chapter three because I cut the footage I'd filmed for the contact library uh, to try and fit the music for the performance I liked and I must fess up I did try and uh, use some of the footage from the performance I didn't like um, to at least give you an idea of uh, the performance. So the performance you're seeing is not the performance you're hearing. But I'm really pleased to have discovered the Annie Moog. I mean, boy oh boy, it's, uh, it's, it's great. And since filming this, I've uh, looked into it a bit more and worked out, you know, how it works and what it can do. And it's, it's a really terrific synthesizer that just happens to be on an iPad. And the fact that you can play it with a screen is they've designed it with that in mind, obviously, and it's, it's brilliant. So anyway, I've ended up with this uh, tune and a slightly odd video to go with it. It's a bit sad sounding actually, but there is something about it that I like. So yeah, I hope you like it too. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you.